We're getting ready to install the last portion of gutters on our horse barn. We have this part complete here with a downspout. We just have this last bit above the two horse stalls to install. So we decided to do a quick how to install seamless gutters. Got our end caps crimped on. And then it's siliconed on the inside before we put it up. We got all our brackets in place. These brackets have to go on prior to putting the gutter up because when you loop them in, you'll hit the roof line if they're not already in. Mounted into each rafter tail. So each, this is a rafter tail. We want to hit the rafter tail with our, with our screw for each of the brackets. So we have these, they call them wedges, to counter the angle to make our gutter flat. You can see it over here. I did it every, every two, and that keeps the gutter flat and not tilted at the angle of the fascia. Position brackets I'm just sliding down to every other rafter tail and I can kind of see where we nailed the fascia board and I can also just kind of feel for it and that's it just bang it away it's actually screw it away So the reason we put these in early is because once you have the gutter up, you don't have the ability to rotate these in and get under this lip. That's why you have to pre-stage your brackets. So we got the gutter up. One thing to note is that we're only going to have one downspout at the far end where the ladders are. So we want a gradual pitch. And to get that, we kept this side as high, as high tucked up towards the drip edge of the roof. And on that side, we're about an inch away. So that'll give us like a, a gradual pitch so while the rut water runs right towards the end for our downspout. Now we just gotta mount our downspout. So first we wanna, we wanna try to run the downspout right in the middle of this board. So I'll take some measurements. And then once I determine where the hole will go, I'll use a two and a half inch hole saw. And that'll fit in this adapter. That goes to your downspout. Just your standard clear silicone and we're just going to run a bead all the way around the flange and uh, put a couple of screws eventually but I don't have enough So moving on to the downspouts, since we have a bit of an older overhang, we can't just put these two together, it would be sticking out. So we did a measurement, we need about a 9 inch section of straight pipe to bring it back to the wall between our 90s.
now we have one straight piece of pipe and for every transition you can tuck it in you always want to tuck it in from the top so this piece is going to need to be crimped to get it stuffed in to this next downspout so this tool right here was like 22 dollars but it's worth every penny because we don't demolish the pipe and it puts the crimps in where you can get the pipe into the next section. Now the end is crimped. That gives us the ability to stuff it into the next elbow. Still takes a little bit of work once it's in. That's it. So I'm just using stainless steel gutter screws. They're pre-dipped white. So just to get the measurement, push the set this up where you want it. Have someone hold this right about where you want it to spill out. Run your tape from like two inches inside the bottom elbow and it comes to like 83 inches for us it's pushed into place the six foot level on the side just getting the level once it's level I have two brackets I'm just gonna put a line either side wall that'll clip to our gutters. So those lines we made, we're going to put this bracket dead center of our lines, use a couple of these stainless steel baby screws and that's it. Brackets are up, just putting two gutter screws on either side, one screw on the bottom just so this doesn't pop off and that's it.